Wow, check this guy out. Wow, wow, wow. the river here beautiful river and we're gonna talk uh, fly fishing gear um, specifically budget fly fishing gear um, what I have is all my stuff is, is budget friendly nothing is crazy expensive it's not cheap it's not you know Walmart stuff it's uh, it's quality stuff but it's for a budget so let's just dive right in Okay, so first we're gonna go over fly rods. I have quite a few fly rods and you don't really have to have all these rods. You can just have a basic five weight um, and that'll get you pretty much whatever you need. Um, but there are specific situations where you need a, a heavier weight and I'll go over that here shortly. All right, so let's talk fly rods. Um, sorry, the sun's right in my eyes, but so we're gonna go from biggest to smallest, as far as weight goes. This is, this is a Scott Rod 10 weight with a 10 weight uh, G Loomis uh, reel. And I have never actually used this yet. I bought it specifically for Alaska and um, never actually used it there. I mainly use this next one. But, so this next one is also a Scott Rod with a G Loomis reel, eight weight, and I use this a lot in Alaska. And I am super happy with it. Um, caught some nice fish. And then um, next on the list is the one I've used the absolute most. This is a uh, Orvis five weight rod with an Orvis five weight reel. And this was uh, a, a kit that I got um, a long time ago, probably 12 years ago. Actually, all three of these I got uh, about 12, 12, 13 years ago. And I recently changed out the, uh, um, the line to this orange and I like it so far. It's good for filming, um, but this rod has been really good. It's held up well and it's uh, definitely a budget rod. All three of these so far have been uh, budget rods. Um, nothing fancy, but uh, uh, not cheap either. Um, so, and then next is I got handed down this from my dad. He had this rod custom made. This is probably the most expensive rod. It probably costs more for this than all of these together. <laughs> but my dad had this custom made and I'm not sure who made it, um, but uh, I'll put a link in the description. Um, I'll get it from my dad. And then the, uh, the reel um, is a uh, um, Hardy Bros, made by Hardy Bros England, the featherweight. So this one here is a four weight uh, uh, rod and reel. And this works awesome for uh, dry fly fishing. This, it, the rod is about as nice as you can get. And I've used this a little bit for mainly dry flies. Um, nymphs, it doesn't work too well. Um, this one here is my go-to for, for nymphing. Um, and then next on the list is a rod I actually made. So this is a three weight rod and reel. So I made this rod. Um, it's a fiberglass rod. It's a, uh, um, six and a half foot. So it's a little short, but I, I made it specifically for the small creeks. And, um, and I've used it a decent amount up in Montana for uh, catching some cutthroats up in the mountains. And the reel is a risen uh, three-weight reel. It's actually a two-slash three-weight. And I really like this reel. I really like that company, Risen. Um, they make some good stuff. And this is definitely st their, their budget uh, reel. Um, but it took me a long time to make this rod. It's not pretty, but it, uh, it, uh, it works really well. It was hard to get used to the six and a half foot length. Um, but yeah, this, uh, uh, it's not pretty. So here, I'll kind of show you. Here's the, the reel. And here you can kind of see right here, it's, uh, 
not not super pretty well done but it's it's sturdy it works and yeah it's uh it's a learning process and and there's the end um it's a learning process and making it. it took me a long time to figure out how to make it um how to make everything work with with putting these on and um but yeah i definitely want to make more rods um it uh it's it's fun once you kind of get get the hang of it but so these are the rods um but yeah so that's that's it for rods okay so let's talk waders so these are sims um just the basic standard waders um nothing fancy nothing special um budget friendly for sure um they they are as basic as you can get and basically uh they're quality waiter for budget price they don't have uh, the the uh, uh the boot covers um just standard and you can buy uh which i have little things you can go over your waders and boots to keep the rocks from going in um but yeah these have been really good i cannot believe they have lasted this long um i've had them for same time i've had all the rods the um the 12 the 10 weight 8 weight and 5 weight and um hiking through all the brush and everything i can't believe i haven't punctured a hole in, in it but these have been really good really really good i've been really happy with them especially for what i paid for them back you know 10 12 years ago however long i, I got them um i think they were between 80 and 120 dollars something like that i think uh, uh give or take a little bit but yeah super happy with these and uh as far as nancy's waders go i'm probably going to make a separate video just on her stuff and our camping setup when when nancy's along because we do stuff completely different when she's along to make it nice and comfortable for her and um she's got uh her fishing setup which is similar to mine uh, she's got a five weight rod and um, she really likes that it's a mirror image of my orvis five weight it's a mirror image of that um, just newer version um, and her waders are nicer i'd like to get a pair like hers um, but we'll go over that in a separate video but uh yeah let's go over boots all right so here's the boots they are not very good. <laughs> I've been having a problem since my first pair that I had for eight years. They were Sims um, and uh, never had any issues with them, but they started getting old and they started to kind of wear out. Uh, and that was with a lot of use. But um, so these, I, I actually, I got to go over first. I've had three pairs in the last like six years and uh, I'd, I just can't find a good pair. If somebody out there can recommend a good pair, please do. Cause I'm, I, I need to just get into a fly shop that is really good and try them on. Cause it seems like the sizes are not what they used to be. So I went through a pair of Patagonias, which were absolutely horrible. They almost ruined my trip to Patagonia. And uh, um, only those only lasted a month. And um, so these are corkers. And I was happy with them at first um, because I really like that you can change out the, uh, the soles. Um, good for hiking and stuff, but the quality is just not there. I mean, yeah, these are budget friendly, but it's just quality is not there anymore. It doesn't seem like. So uh, I'm probably going to go back to Sims and not two sims but uh the brand sims and get get some of theirs i'll probably spend a lot more than i have before i think these were 180 i think Ugh, i don't know if i if i can find the receipt or something i'll post it down below but uh yeah not not too happy with these i do like the idea of it but the quality is just not there they started out fitting really good and then they just get smaller and smaller and smaller um, but yeah, just, uh, yeah, got to find some good ones, especially coming up here. Um, there's going to be a lot more, uh, waiting. Um, I've been doing a lot of just outside casting in, um, and then mountain creeks and lakes and stuff. So, um, haven't needed them for a couple months, but definitely need to get some good ones. Okay. So let's talk, uh, fly cases, fly pouches uh chest packs waist packs um i've had all of them and i've gone back to a cheap brand from walmart 
and it's really budget friendly and I really like it. It's super comfortable. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. All right, so here it is. And I've been really happy with this one. Um, like I said, this is budget, budget, budget friendly and I really like it. It's, uh, I don't even know how you say it, Okeechobee uh, Pats. I don't know what, what how you even say it. Okeechobee, but it was from Walmart and I think it was like 35 bucks and it's a chest pack. It fits everything I need. It's got my tippet. I mean, it's got pouches here. It's got my flies in here, some indicators. I mean, it, it literally fits everything that I need. It has another pouch in here for my bug net. Um, and then I have my fishing license and stuff in there. So I usually always have this. And then in the big one, I got all my flies. It fits you know, it's got this one and this one in it, and that's comfortable. You could fit another one in, um, but this is comfortable right here. Um, you know, got my dries, and then uh, uh, my nymphs I took out because I think I, I was reloading them up. But yeah, this pouch is really nice, you know, for, for budget. Like I said, budget, you can't go wrong with this. Got my protection here in case mountain lion tries to attack me. <laughs> But yeah, that is, uh, that's the chest pouch. And so now let's talk gloves. The reason why I wear gloves and this shirt here that goes over the top is because of this sun right here. It is brutal on me. I've had several uh, surgeries on my face for uh, skin cancer. And so I gotta try to protect myself so I can stay out fishing in this as, as long as I can. So these gloves kind of protect me from the sun and it's actually really easy to kind of protect the fish as well. So you catch your fish and wet your hands, but the gloves actually is a double protection for the fish uh, from what I believe. Um, mm -hmm. And so it's just easy to handle them, get them back in the water, let them on their way and it keeps the sun off. These are UP, I don't know if that'll focus on that, but It'll, uh, yeah, you, it's uh, 50, UPF 50, and I really like that. And um, yeah, so these are the gloves. I really like them. Um, I'll probably get a second pair for a backup, but really, really, really like them. So now let's go over nets. Okay, so nets. I've had several nets, and they always end up being too small. I first realized this when I went down to Chilean Patagonia and caught some decent sized browns. I'll insert some, didn't take any video back then, but I just had pictures. So I'll insert some pictures right here. And I always wanted something to um, get my measurements off of. And so, um, oh, it's actually inside out. There we go. I was wondering why the numbers weren't reading. <laughs> but uh, this I've been really happy with. Um, it's a little bit bulky for some of the hiking, but I might figure out a better way to attach it. It's just uh, those little magnetic things that clip onto the back here and they kind of, you can see it kind of hangs down pretty far and kind of a little bit annoying. So I might try to figure out a better way. I've seen something online where somebody had like a little clip thing here. So I might try to like something like this would be perfect. Like if it were to sit like this and then I could just kind of click it out and then get my fish but it, it extends out. I haven't done that in a long time, but it, uh, it extends out like that. So if you're like in a kayak or a little boat, it'd be perfect just to kind of come in and, and scoop it out. So I've been really happy with this and it's pretty, it's budget friendly. I, don't, I can't say how much it is. It's a, uh, a measure net and I believe this is the medium size. So it goes from 14 to 14 inches here. So I don't know if you could see that or not, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's been really nice other than being just a tiny bit bulky, but all right, let's talk fly shirts. <laughs> this is my setup for when I'm fishing to keep that sun off. Like I said before, when you've had surgeries, um, it's important to protect your skin. So here is, uh, here's what I have. It's got the hoodie. It's got this, you could wear them either or. Um, and I really like it. Um, it's, uh, it's got a pocket here, which I don't really use, but it's breathable. Um, you know, it covers, covers what it needs to cover. Um, you know, especially with mosquitoes and stuff too. 
Um, between this and the net, they're not getting in and the gloves. Um, but it's a uh, Duluth trading company, Alaskan hard gear. Um, I've linked it in the videos I've made um, where I've worn it. Um, and I really like it. I've got, uh, I think four of them. And then I've got another brand, cheaper brand um, that I wear just for like around camp and stuff. Um, but yeah, this is, this is awesome. I really like it and it, it's budget. It's not like those, those fancy shirts, um, that people wear, um, you know, got pockets and stuff on the side. I find this to be the best thing. All right. So here's sunglasses. Now these are, they're pricey, but, um, not compared to some of the others that you get out there. Um, these are polarized, uh, good polarized too not kind of the, the cheaper polarized. Um, it's a uh, Revan is the name. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, and I really like them because they wrap around the sides. They got, it's real sticky on, on this edge here. It's real sticky right there. So, um, they're not going to come off. Like you don't have to worry about like, Oh, they fell in the water. So, um, really happy with these. All right, so now I want to go over uh, kind of the backpack I use for uh, when I'm out on the river. And a uh, little bit of hiking, not too much. It's not made for like backpacking or anything. But just for, you know, like a day, day hike or not even a day hike, but just like from camp going out with your camera gear, your fly stuff. If there's going to be weather, um, put your lunch in it. Um, this bag right here. Um, this is remote designs. Uh, they're hard to come by. It seems like we had to email them and, uh, and, uh, ask them when they're going to restock. And they, uh, they said, go on tomorrow at six in the morning and, uh, and order it. <laughs> and I did. And I've been really happy with this. This is, uh, this is nice. It's comfortable, really comfortable. It's got, I mean, you're going to sweat. It's not like, it's not like a regular backpacking one, but, um, keep a little bit of insulation on there and waterproof waterproof zippers quality made quality made um been happy with i've used it quite a bit um well i shouldn't say that i've used it um maybe three or four times and keeps you know the camera gear uh out of the the elements um protected extra fly boxes um lunch um anything else you need extra waters um uh, more cervezas. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is, this has been really well, well made and we really like it. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, it's kind of the last piece of, uh, uh, gear that we use for fly fishing. Um, I'm sure there'll be more, but, uh, this is, this is actually budget too, uh, compared to what you would pay for like an Orvis one comparable. Um, this is <laughs> by far probably half or maybe even less than half the price but yeah been really happy with this and yeah that's it for this okay so now i want to talk about fly tying i i love fly tying out here in the wild um it uh it kind of gives me peace peace of mind peace uh just while i'm tying you know you could see it like here tie a couple flies right here um on your lunch break or or uh, if you see something else hatching tie something else up um just bring a simple box and simple flies that's what i'm about tying simple flies nothing fancy um you could do that at home or buy them at a fly shop um but simple flies is what, what i like to tie so uh let me show you my uh, uh remote fly tying setup okay so let's talk fly tying so Again, budget, budget friendly. This is about as cheap of a fly tying kit as you can get. Um, I don't remember how much it costs, but um, I know it was cheap and it's not a quality, okay? It's not like one of those spinning, uh, I don't even know what you call them. I don't even have that at home. I just have my, my dad's hand-me-downs. Um, everything, this, my dad actually made this here 40 years ago um, for his fly tying. And um, so everything tying related is in these two boxes. And then all the gear is in, in here. It's actually really nice. Yeah, so this, yeah, my dad made this. And um, 
But yeah, I got some new uh, bobbins and stuff because um, the old ones are just not as good as the new ones and it's a big, big difference. Hooks are all, all uh, my dad had all these set up. Um, I got this one here looks like these are for dry flies um, and uh, I've been uh, using these for uh, uh, making hoppers. Um, but yeah, I got some newer stuff in here. These are all my nymphing stuff. All my stuff. I got my uh, um, indicator yarn. I got dubbing. Dubbing. Um, I got bead heads. Um, and then just all my like stuff to make hoppers. Got my olive uh, stuff. I got some stuff I'm gonna try. I don't know what I'm using this for yet. Um, but yeah, I got some old stuff here too. Stuff my dad uh, had. Um, I had to kind of go through it and uh, um, stuff that wasn't, uh, it was kind of had some flies in it and stuff. But uh, yeah, the, a lot of this stuff lasts a long time. And yeah, so this is, this is basically my fly tying setup. And it's 40 years old. And I've added to it and took out some stuff, but this this is as budget as it gets. I mean, I realize that a lot of people aren't going to be able to start with this, but um, for me, um, I don't need to buy all the fancy stuff, the fancy fly tying stuff. I just do basic flies, like I said. I'm not some professional fly tyer. My stuff's pretty rough, um, like my rod, but uh, yeah, this stuff, it, it works. It so this is, uh, this is how I do it. It's actually perfect. It's like for me, this height right here is actually perfect for tying. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. Like I said, it's cheap, this thing here. It's not gonna probably last forever, but I can actually, I can replace this with the ones I have at home that my dad used to use that were actually really nice back in the day. And like I said, this setup works and this doubles as a dinner, dinner table. So, you know, get off the river and like, oh man, I ran out of these flies. So I uh, just set this up. I mean, this literally took like a minute to set up and, and tie, tie some flies. I mean, this is, you can't get a better uh, fly tying studio than this right here. I mean, yeah, if you start seeing fish start rising, you're like, okay, I'll tie some dry flies and then go use them um, so um, that'll be it for uh, this uh, episode and uh, I'm gonna start kind of a little series um, about uh, how to fly fish uh, on the budget or on the cheap and yeah thanks for following along and if you feel like you'd want to subscribe we appreciate it and uh, like the video if it's something uh, that you're interested in and fly fishing on the cheap thanks for watching